When I come to the yoga session this morning, as usual, sit in a comfortable position, close your eyes, and arrive in the room, arrive in your body. You may take a little scan of your own body, just to check whether there are any parts that hurt, that are stiff, that are cold or warm. And then observe your breath. Is your breath shallow or is it deep? And then connect for a moment to your heart. And let's set an intention for this morning's yoga practice. If you have a personal one, then just choose for it. And for us together, we can choose to pay special attention to our back. Our backs are carrying us the whole day, keeping us straight, carrying a lot of weight. And we often do not really pay a lot of attention to our spine. So let's just today focus on keeping the spine straight and checking in how it's doing a couple of times. So open your eyes and give yourself a good stretch. Stretch up and over to the sides and then open your chest and bring your arms down, move your shoulders. And then roll them in the other direction. And let's today do a breathing exercise, a balancing one. And we do the alternate nostril breathing. So we alternately in and exhale through the left and then through the right nostril, in closing the other one on the right side with the thumb and on the left side with the ring finger or any other finger that can reach. So you can put the index and the middle finger on your forehead or just do it without that support. Close your eyes and close your right nostril and exhale fully to the left side. Then inhale through your left nostril. Close your left nostril and open and exhale to the right side. Inhale right, close, and exhale left. Make it a very silent inner exhale that you can't hear it yourself. Inhale left, close, and exhale right side. Inhale right, close, and exhale left. One more round. Inhale left, close, and exhale right. Inhale right, close, and exhale to the left, bring your hand down, feel into your body for a moment, good, okay. Inhale, arms up, 
and exhale, twist to one side, bring the arms down. Inhale up again and twist to the other side. Inhale up and exhale down. Keep your back straight and your shoulders relaxed. In the middle, stretch out a bit more and exhale, arms down. Let's come to a standing position to the rest of the warm up. Standing today, just for a change. So bring your right foot forward and turn it in circles. Warm up the ankle. And then the other way round. And we bring it down, shake it out a little bit. And then the same with the left foot. Rotate. And in the other direction. And we bring it down. Bring the arms to the side, make fists with your hands and rotate the hands. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And the other direction. Then we bring the arms forward and open and close the fingers. A couple of times, warm up the fingers. Good. Shake out the arms, shake them out strongly, bring some blood in the fingertips. Shake, 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 shake. Good. Okay. Inhale, shoulders up, a bit higher, up, up, up. Exhale, let them fall down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Bit higher, exhale down. Last time, inhale up, exhale down. Good. Let's move the hips in circles, warm up the hips. The feet stay on the mat. And the other way round. Good. And let's rotate the arms. First the right arm. Keep the arms straight. And then the left. And then both a bit faster, like a propeller, and slower, and change direction. Very good. The last thing to warm up is the neck. So bring the neck, bring the chin down to the chest, and maybe push the head a little bit further down. Get a stretch in your neck. Continue breathing. And then bring it up and let it fall backwards once. Back to the middle. Let it drop to the right side. And if required, you can also pull it a bit down if you don't feel the stretch from gravity only.
and to the other side. And back to the middle. And the last thing is a slow rotation with the head. So inhale when you bring the head up. And exhale when it comes down. And change the direction. And back to the middle. Very good. Are we ready for some sun salutations? I'll start them on this side of the mat today. So come to the beginning of the mat. Bring your feet together. The big toes are touching each other. And the heels are slightly open. Stand on all parts of your feet equally. And on the next inhale, bring the toes up. Lift the toes as high as you can. Stretch the arch of the foot a bit higher. And then bring them back down on the mat, spreading them out, starting with the little toe. You can try it also starting with the big toe. It will not work. Activate your leg muscles. Bring your belly in and up. Your chest up, shoulders. Roll back and down, long neck, fierce mountain position. And then we inhale, bring the arms up, stretch a bit further towards the ceiling, arch back slightly, and on the exhale, bend down and bring the hands next to the feet. Probably have to bend your legs also. Inhale, bring the right foot back, and the knee on the mat. And on the next inhale, come up with your upper body, straighten it, straight to the ceiling. And if you can, arch back a little bit. Be careful with your back. Exhale, bring the hands back on the mat. And the left foot goes behind, so you are in the plank position, pushing a bit into your heels. And then on the next exhale, you bring the knees down, and then the chest and the chin. The buttocks stay up, the elbows are close to the body. And then inhale, slide into the cobra, pushing yourself slightly up, the belly button is off the mat. And exhale, you can push yourself in the downward facing dog. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Get used to the inversion. The head is between the arms. Straighten your back as much as possible and the legs can be bent and start walking the heels towards the mat stretching the calf muscles and continue breathing in and exhale regularly And then try to push both heels towards the mat to the point where you feel the stretch and stay here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And then bring the right foot back between our hands, the left knee goes on the mat. We push up, stretch towards the ceiling, arch back slightly. Pay attention to your spine. How does it feel when you arch back? Exhale, hands next to the foot. And then the left foot comes back between the hands, the big toes touching each other. And inhale, come up, stretch out, grow towards the ceiling, arch back slightly. And exhale, hands down. Good. That was a slow motion first round. Let's do it with the other side. So inhale, arms up, 
Arch back. Exhale, bring your hands down next to your feet. Bring your left foot behind the knee on the mat. And then bring your upper body up, straight and towards the ceiling. Feel your spine. Arch back. Hands back next on the mat, next to the feet. Plank position. Pushing backwards into the heels. Knees, chin, chest down. And slide into the cobra. First, push yourself up only with your own body weight from the back. And when you're there, then you can push a little bit further into your hands. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Again, straighten your spine. Arch back slightly. Hands back. Foot back. Straighten your back and come up. Inhale. Arch back. Exhale. Good. Let's do a couple of rounds a little bit faster. And if you can't follow, if you feel it's too fast, just follow your own rhythm. Inhale up. Arch back. Exhale. Hands down next to the feet. Right foot back. Upper body up. And arch back. Hands back, plank position, knees, chin, chest, slide into the cobra. Inhale, downward facing dog, straight back. Exhale, right foot between the hands, lift up, arch back. Left foot between the hands, straighten, come up. And back, exhale, arms down, inhale up, arch back, exhale, hands down, left foot behind, arch back, right foot, plank position, knees, chin, chest, elbows close to the body, slide into cobra, downward facing dog, Left foot between the hands, come up, straighten your spine, arch back. Again, notice your spine, right foot between the hands, and come up, inhale, straighten towards the ceiling, exhale, hands down. One more round, inhale up, exhale, bend down from your hips, right foot back, upper body up, and back. Left foot behind plank, knees, chin, chest, slide forward, cobra, elbows close to the body, downward facing dog, right foot between the hands, arch back, left foot between the hands, roll up and straight towards the ceiling, arch back, exhale up. Inhale up and exhale, bend down from the hips, left foot behind, come up, arch back, right foot behind, plank, knees, chin, chest, slide into the cobra, belly button off the mat, inhale down, facing dog, left foot between the hands, come up, arch back, Right foot between the hands and come up, straight in towards the ceiling a bit more, keep the shoulders relaxed, arch back and hands down. Shake out and then take a minute, close your eyes, feel the changes in your body, feel the changes in your spine. Okay, good. Let's back, come back to the beginning of the mat. I will do from the other side, otherwise 
you will not be able to see the move. Let's do the warrior two. So stand fiercely in the mountain position. And on the next inhale, take a step back with the right foot. And then inhaling the arms side was the shoulders are relaxed. The hips are facing forward, both of them. And on the next exhale, bend the left knee and look toward the left side. The knee is above the ankle. And also pay attention that the knee does not collapse to any of the sides. It stays straight, pointing forward. The right leg is straight. Arms are straight, pulling a bit outwards. Your belly muscles are activated, the pelvis muscles. And continue breathing. Make sure the weight is equally distributed between the two feet. And on the next exhale, bring the left elbow on the left knee and the right arm goes over your head to straighten forward. Lengthen right side. And inhale, come back up. Good. We go into the triangle position. So we start also from this open legs. Maybe you have to close the legs a little bit more, depending on how it feels, you can try. Um, bring the left arm around your waist. That will help you not to collapse your hips. And then, no, it's the other one actually. Sorry, bring the right arm behind your back. Inhaling the left arm up and then bend down sidewards. Do not collapse the hips, stay open to the side and bring your left hand wherever you can reach on your left leg and then release the right arm and bring it upwards. This is the triangle position. Inhale into your chest, belly muscles activated. And long arms. We really again reach to the ceiling and also stretching your spine. The spine is never collapsed in yoga. It's always space to straighten. Breathe, push into your feet. And then come up and come back to the beginning of the mat. I will go to the other side so you can see when I do it for the other side. Again, take a deep, deep inhale into your nose and exhale from your mouth. Releasing the tension. Another one, inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Good. Okay. Next, inhale, bring your left foot back. Open sidewards. Inhale, arms up, shoulder high, you can check it. And exhale, bend your right leg. Bring the knee above the ankle and look forward. This is the warrior two. It strengthens the leg muscles and is told to be good for resistance and resilience. Feel into both of your feet. Are they equally supporting your body? And on the exhale, bring your right elbow down and the left arm goes above the head. Lengthen. Continue breathing. And on the next inhale, come up. Let's stay in this position and go into the triangle. 
from here. So bring the left arm around your waist to make sure your hips don't collapse. Inhale, right arm up and exhale, right arm down, bring it on the leg, wherever you can, keep your hips open to the side. And then inhale, bring the left arm up too. Triangle position. Continue breathing. And inhale up. Bring your feet together, back together. Shake out for a moment. And again, take a quick scan of your body, feel how it feels. Feel the effects of the warrior and the triangle. And then let's continue with the balance position. Let's do the palm tree today. So bring your feet together again, the big toes touching each other, heels slightly apart. Make sure your weight is well distributed, you stand on all parts of the feet. And with the next inhale, we come on the toes. Keep your body straight, keep your core muscles activated. Pelvis activated, fix a point in front of you. And when you're stable, on the next inhale, you can bring your arms up. Breathe. Take five deep in and exhales. And then first bring your arms down and then your heels. Good. Shake out a little bit. Open your legs. And then bend your legs, come down into the garland position. I have to close them a bit more. Otherwise the exercise doesn't work. Straighten your spine. Long back, straight back. And then bring your hands in prayer position in front of your chest. And the elbows will pull the knees outwards. So keep your spine straight, long neck, and push into your hands and pull, push the knees outwards with your elbows. Breathe. This is also a hip opener. The hips store a lot, a lot of tension. And then release, sit down, shake out your legs. And let's work on the belly muscles. Bring your hands behind, the fingers pointing forward. And on the next inhale, straighten the spine. And then bring the knees up. We hold this position for a couple of inhale exhales. If you need more of a challenge, you can either straighten your legs or bring your arms forward. Make sure the spine remains straight, the neck is long, and the work is done by the belly muscles and a little bit by the thighs, of course. Okay, exhale, give yourself a hug. And then bring the hands back again and inhale, hold position. Exhale. 
Again, if you need to reinforce it, straighten your arms forward or your legs. You can also alternate with the legs, do some kind of mini cycling, keeping the shoulders relaxed and keep a smile on your face. Exhale, release, hug yourself. And we go into the last round, bringing the arms behind. Inhale, legs up. Remember the intention to focus on the spine, even if this is for the belly muscles. What is the spine doing? How is it supporting? How much weight does it carry? Just grant it a little bit of attention today. And a big last smile before we release. Big hug again. Good. And then let's straighten the legs. Sit on the on the sit, sitting bones and bend your right leg. Bring the foot inside of the knee or outside of the knee whatever feels right for your body. Straighten your back, inhale. Bring your right arm behind to support. Bring your left arm up. And on the exhale, twist to the right side. Look backwards. Again here, use your breath. In the inhale, straighten your back a bit more. Reach towards the ceiling with your head. And on the exhale, you can go a bit deeper into the twist. Our body muscles relax when we exhale, which gives us the chance to go deeper into stretches or twists. Feel your belly pushing against your thigh, giving your inner organs a little massage. And exhale, come back forward. Release the right leg, and we do the same with the left. Support with your left hand. Inhale, straighten your back. Right arm up, lengthen towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, twist to the other side. Use your breath. And shaking with your spine. How does the spine feel when it's twisted? And exhale, come out of the twist. Lengthen your legs. Check out the legs a little bit. And then come to sit again more on your sitting bones. Bring the toes up so that your legs are straight and the toes are pointing towards yourself. And keep the back straight. This probably already gives you a bit of a stretch in the legs and maybe in the spine. And let's do a forward bend. So we bring the arms up. Lengthen the spine, grow a bit towards the ceiling, and on the exhale, try to fall down forward from the hips. You might not get very far if you keep your back straight. It doesn't matter. Keep it straight. And try to sink a bit further down with each exhale.
and then round your back. Bring your nose a bit closer towards your legs, wherever it can go. Feel the stretch. Let yourself fall down. Let gravity help you to come closer to your legs with your upper body. And on the next inhale, try to stay down as much as possible, but start straightening your spine again. Look up, look forward, lengthen your spine. And slowly, slowly come back up to the sitting position. Good. Bring your hands behind your back. And on the next inhale, push your buttocks up into the backboard plank. Try to bring the soles of your feet on the mat. And inhale deeply into your chest. Exhale, buttocks down. May do a little counter movement. Falling forward. Good. And then bring your knees close to your body. Grab them and roll, slowly roll back on your back. You may roll a bit forward and backwards to give your spine a little massage. And then also roll a bit sidewards. And today, special spine day, do little rotations with your knees and your spine to one side and in the other direction. Good. And then straighten the legs and turn on the belly. Let's work with the back muscles, arms long to the front and legs together to the back. Now the next inhale, lift the right arm and the left leg off the mat. And exhale, bring them down. Inhale, right leg, left arm. And down. Inhale, other side. Keep your shoulders relaxed, feet pointed. Inhale up and exhale down. You can do it in your own rhythm, looking down on the mat. And you can see how does your spine feel. Good. Okay. Exhale down. Bring your hands close to your body. When your elbows close to the body, the hands are pushing into the mat. And on the next inhale, use your back muscles, the upper back muscles, to lift yourself up. And then push into the elbows for an extra mile. It's a little bit more the sphinx position. Lengthen your spine forward and upward. You can even pull yourself with your hands a little bit more forward to lengthen your spine up and forward. Continue breathing, shoulders away from the ears, and relax on the pillow with your hands. And relax for a moment. And then release, grab your feet, if you can, both of your feet, and pull them towards your buttocks. Feel a stretch in your thigh muscles. 
Look down. And continue breathing. And on the next inhale, do this only if you do not have problems with your lower back. On the next inhale, you can push your feet into your hand to come up to the bow position. Inhale only into the chest so you don't move forward and backwards. Relax your lower back. Relax your shoulders and relax your face. And exhale, come down and push yourself into the child position. First, stretch out your back and then relax with your forehead on the mat. And then release and come to life on the back. So on the next inhale, bring the legs up to 90 degrees and point your feet downwards. The spine is straight and entirely on the mat. Activate your core muscles so that your back and your spine are touching all along, your shoulders are on the mat. This is the candle position, the candle asana, and you can either stay here, still continuing to push your, your toes downwards for seven deep in and exhales, or if you feel comfortable to go into the shoulder stand, you can also go into the shoulder stand. I will go to the shoulder stand, pushing myself up. But do whatever feels comfortable, what you feel comfortable with. So that nobody gets injured or even any muscles you can be twisted. In both cases, keep your legs straight, point towards the ceiling. And breathe regularly. If you are on the shoulder stand, make sure that there's no weight on the neck. It should all be on the shoulders and on the elbows. Another two deep in and exhales. And if you're in the candle, try to control in a controlled way, bring your legs back down on the mat slowly, using your belly muscles, keeping them straight. And if you're on the shoulder stand, you may go into the plow position first. Stay there for two or three more inhales, and then roll back onto the mat. Vertebra by vertebra. until the feet and the legs are back on the mat. Good, shake the legs out a little bit and give yourself a good stretch. And we will do the fish as the last asana. So bring your, your legs together, feet are touching each other, long legs so your whole body is straight and long and then bring your hands underneath of your buttocks bring your elbows a bit closer to your body and on the next inhale we push into the elbows to lift the chest, chest up let the head fall backwards if you're high enough up to let the head rest on the mat you can do that 
Don't put weight on it. And breathe into the chest. Open the chest. Push into the elbows and breathe into the chest. And then bring your head up and roll back on the mat. Very good. Okay. So then bring your knees back to your chest and pull it, pull them, become a little package. You can also lift up your head if you want to become a really, really small package. And then bring your feet back on the mat. Keep the legs bent. And on the next exhale, let your, your legs fall to the right and your head to the left. And enjoy a short relaxation in the twists. And inhale, bring the knees back to the middle and exhale to the other side. And inhale back to the middle. Grab your big toes, both of them with your fingers. And on the next inhale, straighten the legs as far as possible. Feel the stretch. Breathe into your belly. Yeah, you can keep them open so you are able to straighten the legs more. You can also try to close them, which, gives, which intensifies the stretch in the back of the legs. You can experiment with it also, opening, closing. In the next exhale, bend your knees and push, pull yourself down, pull your knees towards the mat. The happy baby position. Keep your spine straight on the mat. And continue breathing. And then release your legs, shake them out a little bit. And bring them back on the mat. And prepare for the final relaxation. So if you need some socks or a pullover, take them now. I'll take some socks, otherwise I'll get cold. And then lie in Shivasana. The legs are slightly open. The feet are falling outwards. The arms along the body. Palms of the hands facing the ceiling.
and that's before releasing completely. Make a fist with your hands and lift them off the mat. Strong fist, strong fist, and release. Let's do the same with the feet. Bring the legs off the mat, contract, contract, and relax, let them go down. Same with the buttocks, contract your buttocks, lift them up a little bit, and let them fall back on the mat. And then contract all your facial muscles, make funny faces. And relax. Let's bring the tongue out, so inhale and then on an exhale, bring the tongue out as far as possible. And one more time, inhale through the nose and then exhale, through the mouth, tongue out. You may feel that there's also some tension always in the jaw when you open it. And then make last adjustments. Find the position in which you can relax the next minutes. Close your eyes. And start relaxing the entire body. Feel the gravity. Feel how your feet and your legs, your buttocks, your hands are heavy and falling deeper into the mat. Feel your shoulders. <coughs> Sorry. Feel the gravity in your shoulders. Relax the shoulders. Feel the gravity of your head. Relax your head. Relax your face. Your eyes. Your mouth. Your jaw. And your tongue. Give some last attention to your spine. How's it feeling? And can you actively relax the spine a bit more? Giving it a good rest. And just take a couple of minutes to enjoy incomplete relaxation.
slowly start moving your fingers and your toes, bringing your attention back into the room. Sensing the space you're lying in and starting to feel your body lying on this mat. And then bring your left hand onto your heart. Feel your heart beat. Then roll on the right side. And relax here for another moment. And then when you're ready, you can bring yourself up into a sitting position, keep your eyes closed, and then take a moment to sense how your body feels. Take a moment to sense how your mind feels. It might be a bit more silent than before the practice. And also take a moment to bring something into your consciousness that you are deeply grateful for. A person, place, a situation, whatever it is. Connect to the gratitude. And a smile on your face. And then bring your hands in prayer position if you wish. Gently open your eyes. And I say thank you and namaste and have a beautiful day.